What is this? Uh, So this is my Easter basket. If you are new here, my mom, she sent this to me because I don't live near my parents. I live in Austin, Texas. My parents live in Georgia. And my mom sent me this Easter basket. And it, I think it's some sort of an Easter basket. And she wrote here, don't open until Easter. It is Easter, it is Sunday. I just went to church, went to brunch with some friends. And now it is time to open this. We love a haul, right? I have no idea what's in this, by the way. Oh, look. There's this string in it. How cute. Oh my gosh. And also, today is the last day of Lent, of course, and I practiced that. So now I can eat candy. My favorites. The Sweetheart Ropes. Phenomenal. Oh my gosh. And they're the Twisted Spring Punch. It's a really good flavor. What is this? Uh, this is funny. Oh, look how cute this bunny rabbit is. Uh, oh my goodness. This is adorable. Mom, you have good taste. This is so cute. Uh, I feel like I'm a kid. It smells like candy. I feel like I'm a kid. Oh, it smells so good. What is that? Is that like cotton candy or something? Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, is that cotton candy? Look, it's the Pete's cotton candy flavor. Is that maybe it? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> it's a little rabbit book. Guess how much I love you. Oh. Oh. This is so Sour Punch Twist. And Smarties. Yum. Oh. There's a letter. So I'm always one to, you know, like you, you should open up the letter first. But I'm gonna wait and open it up after all this just so I can continue the haul and because this I know is good, probably going to make me emotional. So, let's get a look at this little peach. This is another plush. This is my favorite. This is so cute. I'm going to put this on my bed. Like, this is, this is adorable. More peeps. Bubble Bunny. Oh, this is it, too. The, a really good smell. Bubble Bunny. What does that mean? What's, this is, oh, its ears are wrong. That's the Bubble Bunny. Looks like a peep. What's in it? <laughs> this is like the hall of halls. Look at, my cats are like, what is that? Oh my gosh, they're gonna love this. <laughs> Ruth is like, what is that? Look, my other cat's running in here. It's popping on her head, it's so cute. What is that, Ruthie? Okay, I'll play with them later on that. The Ruth is right there looking. She's like, what is that? Oh, I love these. It is. My cat's looking at this hole too. Mentos gum. You can see her head. I think it's a bubble gum flavor, which I like. Nerd gummy clusters. Phenomenal. Phenomenal pieces of candy. My cat's like, what is that? Ruth. Okay. Nerd rope. So yummy. Peeps, regular flavor. I do love peeps. I know some, some of y'all might be thinking, ugh, peeps. I love peeps, I really do. I think they're really good. My mouth is watering thinking about them. I really love peeps. All this candy, I like. This is like the kind of candy I like and my mom knows that, which is really sweet too. Lint Gold Bunny, classic. Then we have Airheads Extremes, even more sour candy. I love sour candy, so she knows this. Oh, so good. And then, that 
that is it for the haul. My cat's like, what is that? That is all in the box. Now my cat's probably gonna jump into it. Now time for the card. I probably, I don't know if I'll read this out loud, but. Oh, they gift cards too. $10 each, that's perfect. Oh, sending you love and mini hugs for a very happy Easter. We love you, mom and dad. Dad did do this too. So this is also dad as well. I've been hassling mom more about it. <laughs> of like, mom, can you please send me an Easter basket? Or like, can you, you know, send a little note or something in the mail? Like, I love receiving them from you because I love you. Like, my parents are the love ones I love the most, you know? And so I know mom thought about that from my conversations. But dad was also very involved in this too. So this is really sweet. And wow, this is just a great way to start the vlog, I think. And I'm, my favorite candies. My favorite candies, look how cute. If you're watching this vlog, I'm thinking of you too. And I love and adore you. Now my other cat's coming out. So we're gonna do some bubbles. Let's show them some bubbles. I don't think they've ever seen bubbles. So this is gonna be something new to them, a new concept. So let's, let's, see, let's see what happens. <laughs> She's like, what? Oh yeah, I got my cat shaved, well one of them. Do you want more? Okay. So as you can see in the background, my lights look a little different. I have been decorating a bit more. So piece by piece, this place is coming together. As you saw too, right over here, that TV stand is new because I built that this weekend with my own bare hands and a drill that I borrowed from a new friend that I have here as well. It was super hard to build that TV stand. It took me about two days to build. And not like two full days, you know, but like one was after work. I worked on it a bit. And then yesterday, whole Saturday, I went to bar. I went and had coffee with a friend. And then I came home and built the TV stand. And that's pretty much all I did. This thing is just so cute. I'm sorry. Like it's ears. I feel so sentimental towards stuffed animals. When I was a kid, the amount of stuffed animals I had was actually ridiculous. So many stuffed animals. I have such an emotional connection to stuffed animals. I don't know what it is. Like right now, I feel like such a strong love like for this little thing. And it's not even real. Like it's, well I like to think it's real. But I don't know. I don't know what you call that like psychologically. I don't know, there's something about it. Webkins were my favorite things ever too. Growing up when I had Webkins, it was like, the best thing ever when you could go to the hallmark store in petaluma california which is the town i grew up in if you go to the hallmark store the smell i can smell it like right now walking in i'm imagining walking into that store and i can smell exactly what it smells like exactly where the webkins are in the stuffed animal aisle and section and the feeling of euphoria when you got to go and pick out a, a webkins and then go home and put it on your computer and then play webkins online crazy love that feeling that with like club penguin being sick staying home i play club penguin all the time it's phenomenal but yeah anyways love my stuffed animals and those games but yeah finished my tv stand put that together i moved my dresser to my bedroom and then i went to ikea i got lanterns to put over my lights i think it looks really cute and really good i have curtains in my bedroom i have curtains that I'm about to hang up tomorrow in here. And I'm just continuously decorating. I cannot wait to do, I know I said this in my last vlog, but I cannot wait to do an apartment, you know, reveal and tour of like everything that I get. I still need to get pillows for my couch, which I'm like trying to thrift, trying to thrift those because I think thrifted design on pillows looks better than store-bought, but who knows. This weekend, to be completely transparent, I did not feel like vlogging at all. I have some week weekends like that. So some of y'all may be watching this and being like, you know, how do you keep up with vlogging? How do you do what you do? How do you post every Thursday? It is hard, it is hard. Like it's not as easy as it looks. And sometimes I just feel like not vlogging, you know? Like I just like, you know what? I just don't wanna vlog this. And it's hard to do it with like my corporate job because I do have a nine to five, five days a week corporate job here in Austin, Texas. So alongside that, it's really hard to vlog and, you know, still uphold my 
two and a half year promise. I post every Thursday. I'm not gonna not post every Thursday, but it does, it is a little bit hard sometimes. Let me show you the lanterns up close and like show you what I did. I would recommend getting them from Ikea. I got these for $5 each, less than that even. They have the same exact type of lanterns on Urban Outfitters for $40. So definitely go to Ikea if you do decide to add this, you know, to your space as well. This is a close up of the TV stand that I built. You can even open and close. I got it on Amazon. I can link that down below. Do you want more bubbles? And she keeps meowing at me to blow more bubbles. <laughs> Do you want more bubbles? So I'm trying to decide what piece of candy I want first after not having it for so long, you know? I don't know. Actually, I've been saving these in my cabinet. I love these too. I know there's a debate on like chalk. They taste like chalk or whatever but I really do love these. My Valentine's Day candy, even though it's Easter. Mmm, that tastes so good. They're nice and soft too, weirdly. Kinda makes me uncomfortable. The best flavors of these are the yellow ones and the pink ones. We'll do bubbles again in a second. She's obsessed now. Let's open up the cotton candy piece and try it. Does it taste like cotton candy? No. Is it good? Yeah. Now let's try this one. Mmm. Oh my gosh, speaking of sour, my favorite new dessert. These are them, they're called Fruit Riots. So good. They're frozen fruit covered with sour candy. It's literally one of the best things invented. This is my living room state right now. There's stuff everywhere. I have to build a dresser and um, I got to instruction number four last night. There's like 30. So it's gonna be a piece by piece project. I really am just gonna like work on it every now and then and try to see if I can build it. My cats are getting shaved today. When the cats moved with me to Austin, Texas, I flew with them with my mom. These are the bags that we're going to put them in to go get some grooming and haircuts because they are shedding like crazy. They're taking off their winter coat. This is Phoebe right now. Say hi. Very fluffy. And then this is Ruth right now. Ruth. Hi. <laughs> Look, certified professional cat grooming. And I feel like I'm getting a haircut. I'm like nervous for them. Like I always get nervous for haircuts because you never know how they can go sometimes. But they'll be okay. I'm gonna be at a Starbucks right down the road doing work from home. And yeah, they'll be good. Can't wait to see what they look like. Ruth is shaved and got the whole spa treatment, all that. Phoebe is not because she freaked out and was really bad. So they didn't even try to shave her because the girl was like, I didn't want to hurt her. Like she's not, she's not happy. Now, Phoebe isn't recognizing Ruth because of the smells and shampoo that's on her and her cut. So now Phoebe is like really upset. <laughs> it's gonna take some getting used to, but this is, this is what Ruth looks like. She's not happy with her cut either, but I promise you it'll grow out and they do like it. I don't know if I'll take Phoebe back because I think it was just like the smells and all that. I don't think she likes that. So I might get her shaved. They have an at-home service like with another company. I might do that instead. Hi, Phoebe. I don't really think I like the smells and shampoo they put on them. She's very fragrant. Which she shouldn't be. I am going to enjoy the rest of my Sunday, clean up a bit, and then get ready for another work week. And I will see y'all very soon. Love y'all. Adore you. Have a, such a wonderful day, week, whatever it is. Bye.